What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's job is gonna be something kinda cool. I actually came out here this morning to get ready for tomorrow. This project is gonna be a two system replacement. So it's a pretty cool project. And I wanted to come out here, it's about an hour and a half away. So, you know, we're out in the country. I wanna make sure that I have all the materials and the equipment, everything we're gonna need for tomorrow. So that way we can just get here early and knock it out. Um, so what this job is gonna be, I've got two systems we're gonna be working on. One for the main part of the house. There's a gas package unit up on a stilt. Uh, platform that I'll show you here in a minute. We're gonna be removing that and putting in a Bosch heat pump split system. So it's a full inverter. Um, they have a walk-in basement, so there's plenty of room to mount the air handler. So we're gonna get all that swapped over. So on this part of the house, this is, was an existing garage. They turned into livable space and they put a ductless mini split in there. But since then, they have divided that area up into separate rooms. So what we're gonna do is put a Bosch uh, ducted system in there as well. So that way they have even control throughout the rooms. Um, so let's come check it out. All right, so as you can see, this is the existing garage. They turned into livable space. Right now, you can see they've got the line set coming out. So that's where the high wall is located, right there. Line set comes down, and it runs basically underground all the way to around this corner over here. And there's that outdoor unit. So again, I'm going to be taking this guy out. We're going to be putting in a Bosch heat pump. Um, full variable speed system. So this is gonna be pretty nice. But the air handler is gonna be in a closet right on the opposite side of this wall. So that should be pretty nice as far as just penetrating through with the line sets and getting hooked up to the new unit. So again, I'm just out here to do a good material list. Um, and then go pick up all the equipment, all the materials today, so that way we can get started early tomorrow, because um, it is about an hour and a half drive to get out here. And I wanna get started early, so that way we can work on one complete system, get it completely switched over and running before we leave, and then the next day, we'll do the same thing on the other system. So, and then hopefully, you know, we don't run into any issues and that can work out smoothly, but, um, so yeah, here's, here's the next system here. We've got a uh, gas pack that sits up on this platform that we're gonna have to remove and then we're gonna put a condenser right there. Air handling goes right in the basement. Let me show you what that looks like here. But this is pretty cool. <clears throat> um, there's actually nothing wrong with the equipment. So I'm gonna reuse both systems. Um, probably use that ductless for my shop and I might give this away to somebody who needs one. But as you can tell, it's running right now, so no problems there. That being said, you can see that it's on a platform about four or five feet off the ground. I think what I'm gonna do is get some four by fours and secure them to the ground, secure them to the platform as well, and just slide the unit off. Because um, this is very uneven ground here, so it would be very difficult to get like a my lift or anything in here to be able to you know get it down so uh, I think that should work out pretty good but yeah as you can see here um, we've got some platform that we need to level out here for the new unit but now that I'm thinking about it I might just build a um, a wall mount for that condenser out of some unistrut because that is just too much of an incline right there to where uh, we'd ha I'd have to dig out quite a bit to get the pad level. So, and that's exactly where it needs to go right there. Penetrate right through the wall. Um, the air handler will set literally in horizontal position right on the opposite side. You got a good access right there. So, um, yeah, should be a pretty cool job. What's really cool about this job is that it's located right on a river. So if you can see that, let me come around here. So that's pretty neat. The river's right here. So when we take a lunch break, we can maybe go down there on the dock and hang out for a minute. All 
Okay, so as you can see, we got the ductwork coming through. We got plenty of room to have the air handler right in this area here. Um, we could even do a vertical position if we wanted to, but I believe I'm gonna do a horizontal just to give me some more room. There will be a four inch filter box and you know things like that. So I just wanna make sure I have plenty of room. And you know, it, it would have to be mounted on the wall anyway because it's such a uh, uneven, uneven grade right there. So I think horizontal just mounted from the floor joists should work out pretty well. But yeah, this is pretty much the, uh, the gist of this system. We're going to be taking out that whole system and putting in the new Bosch. I think only, the only thing I need to do is pull a power for the air handler. So we already have power. If you come out here, obviously, you've already got power for this. So we're going to utilize that circuit for the new condenser that will go there. Um, all the gas line will be removed. Obviously, we won't need that. Um, I'll go ahead and take down the whole platform and they're going to be doing, they're going to have a general contractor here doing a bunch of other work. So they're going to fill the hole that's going to be there, the, the block opening there where the duct goes through. So they're going to fill all that up. So I won't need to worry about that. But yeah, this one should be pretty straightforward. Um, you know, getting a, getting a, a circuit ran to that air handler. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I believe I have got everything I need. Uh, feeling pretty good about that. Kind of sucks you have to drive, you know, an hour and a half, three hour round trip just to make a material list, but it is what it is, right? Um, normally I don't work this far out, but this is an existing customer of mine that's local. Um, I'm actually, you know, I do a lot of work for them. <clears throat> and uh, not just them, but you know, other, other parts of their family, their daughters, um, their sons. So I really make sure I take care of these people. They, they, they've taken care of me over the years, so. And it's good work. I mean, it's it pays well. Um, you know, it kind of sucks it's so far out, but at the same time, it's kind of cool too because I get to experience this nice river. You know, when we take a lunch break, we'll go down there on the dock, hang out for a good 30, 45 minutes, and just you know enjoy the uh, the views. The weather's supposed to be nice and sunny, um, so you know it's going to be cold, but still, being out there on the water is going to be really nice. So can't really complain too much about that. But yeah, I feel pretty good about all of the, uh, the materials that I'm gonna need. Hopefully everything goes smooth. But we'll get started on it first thing in the morning. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be tearing out this equipment and getting the new Bosch systems installed. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.